hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project automatic question paper generator and i have developed this project in php and mysql the version for the php i am using is a php version 7 and the mysql version is 5.6 also i am running this project on the jam server but if you have the other php softwares and the other uh, operating systems like linux you can configure this project on the lamp as well as if you have the mac operating system then you can configure this project on the mac uh, map server right even you can install uh, uh, jamp also on the mac operating system and you can run this project right so this is all about uh, front uh, sorry the server side technology and the operating system for front-end development, I am using the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Some of the jQuery library also have used, like uh, form validations and the uh, date calendar integrations, and many more things. I have used the jQuery plugins, and uh, uh, this is a bootstrap theme, and this is a responsive theme. Means if you uh, swing the page, uh, and if you open the project in mobile or tab, then the UI will not be distorted, and it will be fit according to the screen size. Right, so this all technology I have used for developing this project. So let's start with the functionality go through. So the project title is automatic question paper generator. And this is a major project developed in PHP and MySQL. It's a major DBMS project. DBMS because of it's a MySQL project and we have used MySQL for inserting, updating and deleting the operations from the PHP. I, I have used the MySQL I for connecting the database and or running all of the MySQL queries, right? So let's start. So this is the home page of the project. You can see this is a simple store home page. This is about project, right? If you want to change the content, then you can change it from the HTML. This is the contact and it's a, a Google map, real Google map. So for running this Google map, your system must have the internet connection else your Google map will not work. This is a user login and teacher login. Once you log in as a teacher, then you will be able to find the dashboard, right? So the user ID is teacher and password is test. So once you log in, then this is a teacher, teacher dashboard. And this operations teacher can perform. This teacher can add the class, teacher can add the paper, teacher can see the class report, teacher can see the paper reports and the my account and the logout, right? So let me go through one by one. Home already explained you about us already explained you. this is a dashboard this i have already explained you the same menu is available here in the administration section also right once you click on the add then this is asking for the class right so for which you can add any number of classes here right bca mca btech mtech class one two three what the class you want to add you can add it from here right this is a add paper this is a generic project means it will work for all right so if you are if you want to generate question for the lower classes then it will work right it doesn't means uh, restricted with the semesters right so this we have implemented it this is the add question paper so this is the add question paper from where you will be able to add any number of question paper right so java question php dbms or history geography anything you want you want to add you can add right so this is a class each and every question paper will belong to the class right suppose if you are adding the question for the computer science then it will belong to the computer science class if you add uh, questions for the arts then it will belong to the uh, art class right so you can add any number of question paper here right next <coughs> Next, this is the two option here, add class and add papers. Next one is a class report. So all of the classes which you have added will be displayed here. BC, MC, BTEC, MTEC, BTA, MBA, right? All of the classes which you added will be displayed here. You can edit it and you can update it here, right? So you can edit and update it. The second one is a paper report. All of the paper which you have added will be displayed here, right? So there are two papers I have added, PHP exams and the Java quiz, right? So you can add any number of paper, right? So there are multiple options here, right? The first one is add question in the add and view. Once you click on the view, you will be able to get all of the questions which you have added earlier, right? So this is all all single choice questions. That is all multiple choice question. That is the MCQ, multiple choice questions, right? Multiple choice questions, MCQ, and all subjective questions. Subjective means where you want to write something, right? So what is PHP? 
right this is not a one line answer right so you can you need to write something then this is a subjective question right or you can say that it's a short type question right so all of the questions which you added here will be displayed here so i have categorized the question into two into the three parts the single choice and the multiple choice that is mcq and the second one is the subjective or the short uh, short questions answers right so all of the single type will be displayed here all of the multiple type will be displayed here all of this subjective type will be displayed here all of the questions right you can add any number of question in any of the section for that class right okay so let me go through even you can edit it so once you click on edit then you can edit it also right so let me go through again on the uh, add section once you click and click on that then there are three options right what type of question do you want to add this is a single add single so once you click on the add single options then it will be display as a radio button at the time of print right means radio button you need to choose only a single answer right that is a single choice question add multiple choice that is a mcq multiple choice questions then this will be displayed as a uh, checkbox because you can select multiple checkbox at a single time right this is a mcq this is a add subjective questions add subjective questions means you need to enter the question that's what is php right write a program like this you can add these things here right and this one right so this here questions marks and description you can add it here right so there are three types of add single add multiple and add the subjective right so this is the question uh means uh, forms where you can add any number of questions and if you add questions in the single single choice then it will be displayed in the single group if multiple then it will be displayed in the multiple group and if subjective it will be displayed in the subjective group right so question paper report right this is the add question this is edit from where you will be able to edit the question papers next one is add delete don't delete it if you have added a lot of questions this is a generate paper once you click on the generate paper then it will show you a form for generating the question paper right so this is a title here you need to enter the title for which uh, paper means it's already this thing here that genetic question for php exams right here it's saying that there are four questions available in the single choice there are four questions available for multiple choice there are nine questions available for the subject to type right then php for the right here you need to add and you can add any number anything right so i need three questions from the multi, uh, single choice three questions from the multiple choice and seven questions from the subject to and here right you need to attempt attempt all questions right and you can add any number of description here and it will be displayed at the time of generating so what you have you have add you have to it only three questions from the single choice three question from the multiple choice and seven questions from the subject to right then in that case the system will pick three random questions from the single choice three random questions from the multiple choice and seven random questions from the subject to right once you click on the submit your paper will be prepared right this is a paper you can print it for printing it just click on the print question paper and it will be open in the printable format right here you can see there are total 13 question generated right so you can see three in the single choice three in the multiple choice and seven into the uh, means uh, subjective type right so here you can see this is a single choice because this is a single button here right you can see this is a single this is a multiple all multiple choice question listings and then there is a checkbox right you can see you can select multiples right so that's why it's a two marks right you can add the marks here there is a five marks right this is a one mark right so this is a single choice this is a multiple choice and this is a subject to if you refresh the page then the question will be randomly generated again so you can see i have refreshed the page and you can see the uh, means uh, sequence of the question has been changed even the number uh, even the question will be changed also right let me show you again so you can see how to write the php code right so you can see if you refresh the page then you will get a different set of questions because it's an automatic paper, uh, question paper generator right and it picks the questions which you have added and create the question paper right here right you can print it and you can 
distributed right so this is the main feature of this project because in this page you are getting the single choice multiple choice and subjective or the short answers questions right okay so this is the uh, this is the question paper generator right the second one is a welcome uh, amit once you click on the this uh, link then you will get the user uh, you will get the form for updating your details once you update your details then you can uh, this those details will be saved into the database and after that you can access it later right so this is a logout so once you log out then the above administration menu will not be displayed and you will not be able to access the internal places let me show you so you can see the above administration menu is not displaying but if you log in again then above administration menu is displaying because that administration menu is totally session driven it's checking the session that the user login user is login or not if user is login then it will render a different menu if it's not then it will render the different menu right so this all projects this all functionalities i have developed inside this project automatic question paper generator so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest mouses thanks for watching the video thank you very much